Hey guys, hi honeys, hello my little whore, whorelings, whorelings, yeah, well I'm off my period but I'm, I'm very bloated and I'm cold. So this is what you're getting from the style cream today, but my top does have thumb holes, which I feel like it gives me extra cred, except I have no nails on because we're obviously in a lockdown, I can't go get my nails done, that's no excuse though, I do have penny stick-ons, however, I have a fiddle violin fiddle and i have not played it since i was a child but in my head i'm more likely to play it if i don't have nails on so that's why i haven't done my nails yet now it has been weeks since i've had nails um, and i haven't picked it up yet but i'm hoping this week will be the week i actually thought i'd do it today and then i didn't and now it's too late and i'm kind of like scared my neighbors will judge me because it's gonna be bad it's gonna be bad but i have in my head i might like learn the Brid- a Brid- oh I cringed at myself already. You know the Bridgerton? How they have like classical music in it, but like pop that they have like classical thank you next. I feel like that could be a vibe. I don't know, I'm bored out of my skull, okay? Let me revive my old hobbies. I also tried to play Moshi Monsters. It's dead. Moshi Monsters doesn't exist anymore. I am heartbroken. That has hurt more than some of my failed relationships. And I've also gone back playing Stardoll. That's still up if you care. Stardoll is still up. You should add me. We'll be friends. <gasps> so yeah, anyway, what an intro. Today's video is gonna be a fun one. I'll come closer. See, if I stand here, you can see me better, but I feel very far away from you guys and I don't wanna be so far away. So I'm gonna come closer and cry. I was going to film 21 outfits for 2021, as I saw Emma Chamberlain do. But oh my god, she was like the whole day doing that and I just don't, I don't have it in me to, oh I can't, just the thought of it, the actual thought of it. In my head when I first thought about it, I was like that would be so fun but now I'm like the effort. I can't, I simply can't. I might do it next week or I might not, who the fuck knows. But today we are going to be recreating my favourite YouTubers outfit. Excited, we're going to do a bit of Olivia Neal, we're going to do some... Sophia Tuxford. You know we're gonna do my girl Molly May. You know. And we'll just see how I get on basically. Recreating outfits is so much fun. I do them on TikTok and reels and stuff like that. So I thought why not bring it to YouTube as well. And you did want to see more styling videos. So here we go honeys. I, the first one in my head straight off the bat is Olivia Neal. I have recreated her outfit on TikTok before because I have the exact same top. I feel like hers is from Brandy Melville and mine was from Shein. So mine did not cost as much as hers. Probably the same, I'm not gonna lie. So it's this little top and then jeans. Now, as I said, I am not, I'm not feeling my slimmest right now. I've been living it up the past week. I've been eating a lot. So basically that's my way of saying I will not be putting on my nicer Zara jeans because they are too small for me right now and I only bought them they're like size 26 inch waist and I'm pretty sure my waist is not 26 inches. I have these pennies jeans. These are size 10 from pennies and they're, they have lots of room so they're great for when I'm bloated and, and, and everything. But I couldn't see her shoes in the videos where she was wearing this outfit on TikTok but Jordans. She's wearing a lot of Jordans recently. I love Olivia's style and I feel like she's definitely upped her style since she's moved to London as well. And I'm living for it. So we're gonna we're gonna put on some Jordan with it as well. Can I do a Belfast accent? A wee iced latte, a wee iced coffee. And then I'll have avocado beans on toast. And I live in an apartment in London with Flossie and Lewis frequently visits. We're like a trail, it's very fun for all of us. I can't do it, I really can't. I thought I was good in Northern Irish accents, but I'm I'm obviously not at all. Here it is with some Jordans and some wide leg jeans. This is the top. Nice little zip up. I have it in white as well. And just a little bag, a black bag to go. I did recreate this already on TikTok and I have my pink Prada bag. Cause I thought it was cute with the pink with the Jordans, but we're going with the black one right now. This is Olivia Neal and I love it. I love her style. This is definitely something I would wear already had it on my wardrobe obviously it's something i will go to quite frequently this kind of vibe so next who are we doing next 
let's do molly may i screenshotted this outfit i'll pop it on the screen here but it's just like a teddy long coat some gray joggers and a white top and probably balenciagas but i don't have those so i'll put on i'll put on my new balances and i don't have a little louis vuitton unfortunately but i have another little brown bag like that so i'll go get those bits gray joggers and then i have this brown teddy coat it's not as dark and chocolatey brown as hers it's like a lighter chocolate brown but i love this and i would wear this every day if I could. I love it. It's like wearing a blanket. Best invention ever. And then any white top really. But we'll go with this one for a bit of spice. We'll get a shoulder out. Why not? And then we have my little New Balance friends. Okay. So this is the Molly May fit. I like it. Genuinely so comfy. The teddy coat with the New Balances. Grey joggers. And then just white little crop top. And the big teddy coat. It looks so stylish. And you feel like a pimp. There really is no downside. And then this is a little bag I went with instead the Louis Vuitton. This actually looks like Fendi but it's from ASOS. Out of stock though, I'm so sorry. I would fully wear this out. Might wear this to my next Tesco spin. Spin, not spin. Oh, I just do that ironically but now it's stuck. For this one I would give myself, well it's got to be another 9 out of 10 girls. I don't have an issue with it. I love it. I would give this a 9 out of 10. No, 9. I'm confident. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Okay, 2 9 out of 10. So who are we doing next? Next we'll do Madison Sarah. So the picture I chose for Madison Sarah, I'll pop it up here but it's just like a check shirt and jeans and the Jordans. I think we have the same Jordans. I feel like that's an easy enough outfit to pull off and I feel like it's comfy too. So we'll go get that. So I'll use this shirt from Pretty Little Thing and these jeans jeans are actually from pennies i like this fit i might wear this tomorrow so this is a madison sarah fit peep the jordans and a little bag i didn't see a bag in it i don't think but i feel like this goes again very like not basic I'm not saying that in a bad way i just like it is basic so it's easy to wear it's comfortable you look casual you look effortlessly good i feel like because like you're not trying too hard but you will look put together like you look hot but chillaxed, effortlessly hot, which we all are girls and don't forget it. The white crop top again with a little spicy shoulder, why not? And then the shirt from PLT, jeans from Henny's, Jordans are from JD, and then the bag is actually Shein. And this top I think is Boohoo or Pretty Little Thing or something. I might have to try this shirt as like a shirt dress one of the days of my boots because I haven't done that with it yet and I feel like that'd be cute. Okay, next up is Lisa who is honestly one of my firm favourites on YouTube and Instagram. She's so consistent. Her feed is to die for, her fashion is to die for and her, I just love, like I'm so obsessed, you don't understand. Her outfit is from summer and it's like a little black tennis skirt and then a black kind of jumper sweatshirt and a little polo neck underneath it and again it's another kind of simple outfit and I feel like I have the pieces to make this outfit so I'm gonna go try that on now. This is Lisa's outfit and I am very obsessed. I decided to go with a white bag to give the kind of pop of colour so it wasn't all black. So I have a white polo neck. I know Lisa had yellow on in the picture but I just have white so a white polo neck. This is from Nasty Gal I think. Then this says California on it and this is from Boohoo, I'm pretty sure. The tennis skirt is from Brishka. The bag is from Shein. And then her shoes, I don't think Lisa had any pictures of those shoes she was wearing. But Jordans would look cute. New Balances would look cute. However, I'm going to make a suggestion. Go, go boots. I don't know if that's the name for these boots, but that is what I like to call them. Because that's what they remind me of. Platform knee highs. I just feel like, why not? I'll try them on and see. We're nearly done lads. I only have one more to do. So we've actually flown through this. But the last YouTuber who I'm going to recreate the outfits is Sophia Toxford. I love Sophia and Chinsia so much. But I actually have the exact coat Sophia wore in an Instagram post. And I had bought it before she wore it. So like for once. I, you know, like I just, it made me feel like, oh, I, I, I have good style because Sophia is like is wearing a jacket that I've already bought. It was nice. I actually recreated this on a TikTok and she shared it to her page. And I think it was one of the proudest moments of my life, to be quite honest. I cannot believe my queen knows I exist. So here we go. I'm gonna put it on for for old time's sake. Here we go, girls. Let's do it. And this is Sophia Tuxford's outfit. So obviously I love this. This coat. Can we just take a minute for this coat? Take it all in, ladies and gentlemen. You better work. She's beautiful, isn't she? Just stunning. It, it's it's from the tall section, and I'm only five foot three. I repeat, 
I am five foot three for everyone that thinks I'm five eight. I am 162 centimeters. So I'm five foot three and three quarters. So I'm not quite five foot four, but I, I am a little over five foot three, but I'm not five foot eight. Like, I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know why I radiate tall energy. I'm five foot three, let's clear that up. And this is from the tall section. <laughs> so it's quite, you know, big on me. I feel like I have, I feel like I'm one of those um, things at the petrol station that they blow up and it goes like this. Same energy, but I, I like it. Wide leg trousers, these are from Bershka and then that little white top as well. So to be fair, we've had a lot of recurring items in this kind of outfit recreation video. So I mean, stock up on your staples that seem to be coming up and then you get a few nice fancy pizzas and good shoes that go with a lot of things. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you're good to go. That's essentially what's happening here. I cracked the code for you. Hope you like, hope you enjoy. I would give this 10 out of 10. No, I can't give myself 10 out of 10, I just can't. So, 9 out of 10. No, 9 out of 10 for every single outfit. Because I smashed this. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video so much. And if you want more styling videos or more hauls or more Q&As or vlogs or whatever, let me know what you want more of down in the comments box. Um, any items I showed, I will try to find the links for, if not similar. And they'll be in the description box. It's like 10 o'clock at night and I'm a little delirious, sorry. What else do I have to say? Oh yeah, follow me on Instagram and TikTok because it's a good time, it's good crack. I post every day, I post multiple times a day. I make like three or four TikToks a day. I post twice on Instagram a day. I'm always on my Instagram stories. So honestly, you have nothing else to do in this lockdown. You might as well laugh at me. Why the fuck not? And there we go, folks. That's it, that is it from me. I will see you in my next YouTube video. Thank you for tuning into this one. And I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a good February. I'm not mad that we're in February now. I hope you have a fabulous February. A fab feb. That's what I'm calling it. Fab feb to you all and see you in the next video. Bye.